Okay, welcome to the show. This is the last show on the hot dog cart build. We pretty well got her done. So what we're doing today, or what we have done, I guess I'll start there. We uh, did all the gas spitting. You can see we have a, a barbecue set up here, temporary. Up on the top of the bread box, you see the hot water heater, it's tied in. So Because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, hooking it up to gas, and then we're gonna uh, test all of our connections with soapy water and see if we have any leaks. Because once we, once we uh, sheet this in, we have this side here sheeted in. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, once, but once we sheet it in, it's going to be really hard to get to the T's and the, the, the connections on the gas line that's inside the cart. So what we do now is we hook everything up and uh, we test it for gas leaks and uh, then we can, if, there, if we do have a gas leak, we can tighten it, the pitting up if, uh, and then once we're okay, we can sheet it in. Now, the connections on the barbecue on the side here, the hot water heater, um, what else? The stove, it'll be hard to get at, but we'll check that now. But as far as the barbecue, the hot water heater, they're outside the cart. We can uh, tighten them up. We have any leaks after we get a sheet in. So what we have done on the cart, we have the stainless steel ordered. It should be in tomorrow. Uh, we put that on. We have uh, one big thing we did with the cart, we installed a fridge. So now it has a fridge. So because we installed a fridge, we had to install uh, an inverter that'll uh, uh, power the fridge from 12 volt. So what we did, I'll show you here in a minute, we installed a 3000 watt inverter down here. Tons of power. The fridge, the specs on the fridge is 0 0.8 amps. That's what it draws. So it's not even drawing one amp. So uh, this inverter will run the fridge, run a radio, uh, whatever, run a TV. If you want to run a small TV out here uh, when you're uh, uh, working, selling hot dogs, it'll run a lot of stuff. So it's better to go too big than too small. What else did we do? We uh, installed our, our stove. Now the stove is, is it, it don't, the, the fitting doesn't screw on like it does on the barbecue and that for the gas. The stove is a different type of fitting, so it has to be uh, tied in, and then it's gonna be tough to get it out, but <clears throat> we can. Okay, what else did we install? We installed all the water lines, the gray water, the, the fresh water, we installed uh, the water pump, we installed the battery to run the water pump, uh, the hot water heaters up there, it's gonna go on the outside of the cart because it's on-demand hot water. Just as soon as you turn the water on the tap here, you got instant hot water. It's propane. It exhausts from the top. The heat exhausts out from the burner at the top. You wouldn't want it inside your cart. It's better to have it outside, and then uh, it's not no chance of starting any fire or anything like that. Like I mentioned before, we ordered the stainless steel for the top. We have it coming. We ordered uh, stainless steel for the for the shelves in the bread box, they should be done tomorrow. We should be able to get them tomorrow. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna check our gas leaks. We'll do that right now. We'll, uh, uh, and then we're gonna continue sheeting it in. We're gonna paint it before we put our stainless steel on. So it'll be painted red. We have a door to put down here in our storage. We have a door to put in front of the, the fridge where the fridge is, you'll see that in a second. Then on this side of the cart, uh, we have an access panel to the fresh water and access to the pump, the, the battery, the back of the fridge, uh, access to the gray water. Now how the gray water works, we have the gray water tank secured in the, in the, in the cart. It comes out on a valve, 90s down through the, the bottom of the cart it's got a ball valve in there. We just reach in, turn the valve, drains down. We have a pail underneath the cart or, uh, and it'll drain into that. Then we don't have to be pulling it in and out all the time. It's stationary, it's there. Uh, what else did we do? We put a wheel on the front. So now what, in the back of the cart here, there's gonna be two handles. You can push this cart around as much as you want. It's got a, a quite a big wheel, probably a six or eight inch uh, wheel in the front to push it around. Uh, and she's really coming along. Like we're gonna be done this 
by tomorrow. All together, we have about uh, 10 hours into the build on this cart. And that, that's uh, pretty good. You're just looking at over uh, one work day. So, you know, we're, we're, it's not a big project, but it takes time because we have to wait for the stainless steel. Uh, we can't sheet in until we get the guts of the cart done, like the water and the, the power and the gas, and then we can sheet it in. So there's some things that you have to do in order. But anyway, I'm going to show you uh, the converter, the fridge. I'm going to show you the, the, the inside of the, with the water system, the, where we're powered up from. Um, and uh, then we'll get on sheeting it in, or we'll get on doing the doing the gas test. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be right back here and take a look at the cart. Okay, you can see our inverter here. 3,000 watt inverter. Tons of power to run. Uh, we, you can see the fridge is plugged into it. It's got two other outlets on it. We can plug a radio, TV, whatever we want. Lights for the cart, anything. It's, uh, it's a big inverter and it'll certainly do the job. You can see the stove here. That's the stove box. Down here is storage. You can see back in there, you can see the gray water tank. And let's go around the other side. This side of the cart, we're uh, starting to sheet in. You can see the fridge. I'll just open it. So there's the fridge open in the cart. Uh, there'll be a door put on there, so uh, the fridge won't get dirty and stuff like that. And, so there'll be an outside door, so you'll open the outside door, then open your fridge door. And there's a shot of that. Now we're getting it sheeted in, this side sheet in. This here is just temporary to hold the barbecue up so we can test it. Now let's take a look at the front of the cart. Okay, here's the wheel we put on the cart. So like I say, you'll be able to push the cart around, no trouble. Okay, here's the front. Like I said, we gotta test our uh, our propane before we can sheet this in but you can see our battery this is our fresh water tank it'll be removable through a door um, inside you can see the plumbing for the for the drains of the sinks here's a T this T here is where uh, we get our main feed from our from our uh, propane tank then one goes up and feeds our hot water heater you can see there then off the other side of the T, it runs to the back of the cart. So what goes on is that's gonna go back to the back of the cart where it goes into another T, and it comes off the T feeding the stove and supplying the barbecue. Okay, so you can see our uh, fresh water tank there. You can see our pump in there. This is uh, the drain for the gray water. You see the ba uh, ball valve, then it goes down through the bottom of the cart. This here is our water. This is uh, this one here is going to feed our hot water heater once it's hooked up. Then it'll come off the hot water heater and hook on our taps up here. So anyway, let's uh, let's start testing that uh, that gas. To make sure we got no leaks. Okay, so we're going to test our uh, our gas lines. We have a propane tank hooked up. We're going to turn it on. Then we have soapy water, we're just gonna spray on the fittings. You can see we have a fire extinguisher out just in case we have a, any type of a fire or anything from the propane. Everything looks good so far. Yeah, there's no leaks. Everything is good. So we checked our propane. We have no propane leaks. You can see the stove working there. The barbecue is... Uh, got a flame in it, it's working. Stove's on. So we checked everything with uh, soapy water. 
everything's great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start sheeting it in, get our water lines hooked up once we get the once we get the stainless steel top and we'll be ready to roll with the hot dog cart. Anyway, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to the show. As you can see, our hot dog cart's complete. We have a, a cooler up here is for when we take it out, we transfer, transfer our buns and the, or whatever else we have in there. We have the fridge in the side, which I'll show you in a few minutes. It runs off a 3000 watt converter, or inverter, sorry. That's where we'll transport our uh, hot dogs, anything that we have that needs to be kept cold or frozen. Our cooler here is where we'll have our pop and stuff. The steam table set up this way. This here is direct heat. This pan is right over the fire, so you probably would boil your hot dogs in there. <coughs> These pans here are on a steam table, so what it is, is you have a, they fit into a big pan, and the big pan's filled with water, and these pans set in, so they're not on direct heat, what they are, they're uh, heated by uh, the hot water. So that's where you would hold your hot dogs or your hamburgers, whatever. Here's our, ta our sinks, three sinks, we have, we have hot water, or cold water. We have hot water going through the hot water heater. Uh, we have a, a gray water tank inside. It drains from underneath. We have a ball valve in it. Just turn the ball valve. We put something under uh, to catch it underneath. Over here we have uh, our barbecue. I'll just turn the camera. Okay, you can see our barbecue there. Our barbecue. So what we do is we toast our buns and uh, on the barbecue or whatever else we have to do, hot dogs or hamburgers. There's our stove down there. We have storage underneath. In the bread box we have storage. We've got a couple of pans in there. Uh, what else? We have a fridge in the side compartment. So what I'll do is uh, I'll show you the fridge area. Okay, here's the side view of the, the cart. There's our fridge. It's a small little bar fridge. It runs off of uh, the inverter. Works the very best. It only draws 0.8 amps. So it's only an eighth of an amp when it draws. Uh, and then uh, the compartment. Okay, we'll uh, turn it around again and show you the front of the cart. Okay, so here's the, here's the front of the cart. This is our on-demand hot water heater, the way that works. As soon as you turn the tap on, water flows through the hot water heater. It senses water flow. Water flow. It has uh, two D-cell batteries. They have, they runs an igniter, it ignites, heats the water instantly as it goes through the as it goes through the hot water heater. It's so hot you can't keep your hand under it, but it has settings. You can see the settings on the front where you can set it, uh, uh, you know, whatever temperature you want it at, but it, they work really good. And the only thing that's bad about them is they're not available in Canada. I can't find them in Canada. I ordered them out of the States and, uh, and they're quite expensive, especially with the dollar rate you know, the, what we're, 30 cents on a dollar we're losing now, so it does cost quite a bit. Anyway, I'll turn it around and show you the other compartment. Okay, so now you can see the other compartment here. The doors have to be painted on the inside, I guess I forgot to do that. But this is our uh, compartment here. Now you can see our fresh water. That's 20 liters, just to the, in front of that, to the left. There's a 29.7 liter gray water tank. In behind that, there's a serious battery. The battery weighs about 100 pounds. It's a real good deep cycle battery. <clears throat> what this uh, cart has that uh, I really find interesting, it has solar sails on the top. So what happens is uh, when you're out working your cart in the winter, or not in the winter, but in the, the summer and the sun's out, 
is charging your battery. Now the only thing that runs on the battery is the fridge. It draws 0.8 of an amp off a 3000 watt inverter. It'll last you all day with, uh, with that strong of a battery. Uh, especially with the solar cells, you know, trickle charge in the battery all the time. The, the, the solar cells would probably pretty near, well, maybe a third run the fridge. So it's, it's you know, and then it has a built-in charger in there. So if it does uh, start to go down, which it wouldn't in a day, but say you forgot to charge it that day, if you're near like Christie, you can plug it in, run a cable out of the cart plug it in and charge the battery while you're selling your hot dogs and that. Okay, up top you can see we have a paper towel dispenser that's close to the sinks, which a health inspector really likes. Wash your hands, everything's right there. You don't have to walk away from the sinks. Touch anything, contaminate your hand again. Uh, we always carry uh, hand sanitizer, so we put that on. We carry soap, we carry bleach. Uh, everything to keep your cart clean. The more, you, you can't have enough. The cleaner your cart, the better it is. You know, nobody would like to go and eat off a dirty cart, dirty food, you know, people with dirty hands and that. So keep it clean, keep it tidy. Uh, you'll sell a ton of hot dogs. Anyway, so that's our build. It didn't take very long. I think we have maybe at the most with the paint drying and everything, maybe 15 hours in on this build. Now, the reason I decided to build this hot dog cart is I got this little trailer in Delmany. Uh, a guy had it there, he sold it to me. A nice little trailer, it's 40 inches by four feet. And that's exactly what the trailers are. That's a, the trailer for a hot dog cart. So, but what I did, I think I explained it in the other show, you can see it at the end. I extended it out eight inches past the trailer. You can see it right there. So uh, what we're doing is uh, we're four feet eight inches long, 40 inches wide on the cart. And it, you know, it's a good size. It's, you can tow this thing with a bicycle. I can push this all over the place in no trouble. We put a front wheel on it in the front instead of the, the jack. Like most trailers, this here is a front wheel. When you lift it up and put it on your vehicle, that front wheel's off the ground so you don't have to worry about it. And if it's not, we have to take a wrench and, and uh, take it off. But, you know, it's, it, you, you have to have the front wheel to maneuver the cart. So you have to have it on there. It works really good. The barbecue, we did, uh, we did uh, the fire test on it, hooked the propane up made sure there was no leaks, the barbecue lit, the, the stove lit, the hot water heater uh, ignited, everything worked. We, we, so we know there was no leaks. We did that before we uh, put the siding on the side of the cart, like enclosed the cart. So if there was any leaks, we could get to the, to the gas lines that's inside the cart, inside the guts of the cart. And there was no leaks, so we have nothing to worry about. Uh, I did turn it on last night, filled it full of water and, and turned it on. I did have some leaks, but I forgot to, to tighten up the, where the connectors where we had it connected into a T. So anyway, that's our hot dog cart. It's an easy build. Uh, it didn't take very long. It didn't cost very much to, to manufacture, to build it. And the money you can make with these are incredible, like $500 a day. 300 to 500 dollars a day is uh, is uh, not out of the question. You can make a lot of money with a hot dog cart. This one here, you got bigger sinks, you got uh, water that's under pressure. A lot of the hot dog carts up in the, up in where the paper towel is there, in the bread box, that's where your your fresh water is. So it's gravity fed. It's just the pressure from the water being that high that gravity feeds it. Also, the way they, they heat the water is they have a, a half inch copper line that goes across the burners on your stove. So when you're running your stove, it's heating the water that's in that line. So it's not much hot water. This cart here, we have a hot water heater. We got uh, 20 liters of water. We carry an extra one. 
so we got all the hot water we'll need. That thing there will heat as much hot water as you put through it. Another thing, we, like I said, we have uh, pressurized water. Another thing we have on this cart, we have big sinks. The sinks are big. I was talking to the health inspector yesterday. He says he never seen sinks that big on a, on a hot dog cart, and that's good because the way it's gotta be is your sink, if, if you had small sinks, you can't use any utensils, any pots, or any pans that you can't wash in a sink that you have on site, on your cart or in your trailer. So with these sinks here, now I, with a hot dog cart, you're not using much, you're using uh, tongs, you're using spatulas, you know, a few little pans, uh, stuff like that. So you, you can wash it. But if I, the pans that's in the steam table, for example, you can see them two small pans and the other pans there, they'll fit in them sinks to be washed. So the thing is, I can use them pans and, uh, and have, a, have it to clean up on the cart. So the cart turned out really good, really pleased with it, can't wait to use it. Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be a money maker for sure. So tune in next time on uh, working with wood and we'll be uh, building something else. We're renovating a store right now, maybe we'll do a little bit on that. Uh, but there's some things, there's a kid's stool with a, a, a big hourglass in the center of it. I'm gonna be doing that on one of the shows. So make sure you tune in again to Working With Wood.